Welcome back to What Arty Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the Gorilla 15, it's the Tier 10 German tank destroyer, and this one's located on the north spawn of Overlord under the command of Oppenheimer. Now he's alongside a platoon uh, with Otto von Bismarck in the IS 7 and Joe Beasy in the 907. And battle is about to commence. Well, I think you can tell from the barrel of his gun that he has three marks on his griller. It's the 15 centimeter L63 or pack L63 gun at 63 calibers long. You see it's a very long barrel based on a Panther chassis. It's capable of 750 alpha. So it's not the sort of tank destroyer you really want to come across uh, if he's loaded. If he's not loaded then you can pump shells into his Panther chassis but he really is very, very dangerous as a tank destroyer. Right, well, he's got a customer straight away. <laughs> oh, that customer was very lucky. Now, he was using the bush mechanics, so I don't think he knew where that shot came from. But he fired the round in and it bounced off. So, he's reloading. It's 15 seconds on the reload. Moving up. It's not where you'd normally expect someone to go. Oh, that back chat wasn't looking where he was going. Didn't realise who was coming in. So we have taken some damage. 61 hit points to the back chat. Well, we've got some enemies to shoot at, but... Um they're staying well below the ridge line at the moment. 277 popping up. Mm, only briefly. Can we get a shot into him top? Oh, we did get him! And we got a fire into his engine bay! Good shot. And we weren't seen as well because he was again using the bush mechanic. Okay, we're loaded. There's somebody off to our left at this moment. I'm not sure if he's seen that. It's Pantera, short distance away. Uh, but that Progetto just made a massive mistake and he's paid for it. 715, 716 hit points gone and he took some track damage and he's been taken out of the game. Otters down this end. So Joe bc has gone into the bowl. He's on the other side of the bowl now, but oh, that centurion's gone. Okay. We've got some enemy tanks made their way all the way along the beach. And they're coming up the far end. I think we're gonna just try and whittle them down. IS3's got up onto the top. There he is, and a T30. T30 took a big round, 633, but it's a low roll. Can we get around into that pattern? I think that might be our next trick. Either that or to take out the T30. IS3, run into the side of the turret. 767 hit points. Those, those tanks are now one shots, easy one shots, and the RT takes out one of them. That was the M53, 55 getting a kill. Patton. Oh, takes one into the engine bay and he's on fire. And he's going to burn up. He has. Oh, he's gone. But we didn't get the kill. That went to the back chat 25T. Okay, we've dealt with the uh, force that was making their way up towards our cap. With three tanks up on the enemy at the moment they just managed to get one back they took out a t28 this is a tier 10 game on the 357 we've lost joe beasy i'm afraid i didn't see it happening but he actually went south of the bowl and now we're looking at an object 430 who's just to the east of the bowl he 
He's coming round this way. There he is. Ooh, oh, 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 took a round in the back. 712 hit points. He won't be happy about that. Went up to 5k damage. 6,691 assist. Going for that STB. Yep, 720. Yet again, it's a low roll, but it certainly worked. We took around in the tracks from the uh, object. He obviously didn't like being hit up the rear. But the object's been dealt with. He's gone. The RT got him. That means there are only three enemies left and there are five of us. Now, two of those are tank destroyers. The T110E3 and the Rheinmetall Ballistic Waffenträger. The last one is the STB-1. The same one we hit earlier in the game. Now, I think they're south of the bowl. We're, I'm just looking over the bowl at the moment. And there's the STB. Okay, we're going for it. Otter, unfortunately, is no longer with us. He got two kills, but was taken out. Okay, we're using the bush. Nothing in sight. There he is. Very low roll, 515. I think that must have hit something uh, hard, which prevented it doing the full damage. And we've got the E3 nearby. Oppenheim is relocating. Just trying to better pick a better angle to attack him from. He's going to be expecting us to be in the opposition. He might see that tree go down, but we're also looking for that Borsig. We don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. He's actually low. There we go. Oh, Ammo racked him. He's gone. That's our second kill. And that means there's only one enemy left. It's the T110 E3 and he's looking at us, unfortunately. And we're just completing the reload. Here we go. Oh, it doesn't penetrate. It's the angle. It must have bounced off the lower plate. But we've got him by the rear now. Well, at least that Centurion has. Oh, the Centurion's been team killed by the Type 4. And the E3 gets him. And we pump around into the E3. And the RT has a go. And he's hit him, stunned him. And he's used his first aid. But I'm not sure he's actually going to be able to beat our speed at getting around this rock. And if he does come around that corner, we will put around into him. Oppenheimer's being very careful. He's using his ability to move fast. Can he track him? No, he's going for the lower plate. And that's a kill shot. And that wins the game. Very nice. And he ended with nearly all the, da the health that he actually started the game with, uh, even after the bat chat uh, rammed into him. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's an ace tanker for Oppenheimer in the Gorilla 15. He got an ammo uh, demolition expert for ammo racking one of the enemy in that game. He also picked up a fire for effect for dealing more damage than the hit points to his own vehicle. A bruiser middle for getting at least five critical hits. He got 11. And he also picked up a high caliber and a confederate for that game. Um... It was absolutely brilliant. Win 8 of 8749. Last man alive in that game apart from the RT. Let's have a look at the uh, team scores. Well, we can see here that, uh, yes, it was the RT was the last one alive with him. Uh, Oppenheimer managed to get the highest amount of damage, 8,070 hit points overall. Uh, it was uh, his two platoon mates, actually, who were alongside him on the damage scores. Uh, although the next highest scorer was the E3 with 4,020, it was also von Bismarck with 3,251, and Joe BZ managed to get 1,748 before he was taken out. Um, so, let's have a look at the number of kills. Well, we can see he's top of the table when it comes to kills, but he shares the spot with the M5355 who had three, and the E3 who also had three. Unfortunately, um, I think that Type 4 Heavy made a bit of a mistake accidentally telling, killing the Centurion 5-1, and also then getting killed by the E3 himself. Um, but uh, we'll leave that to one side. Uh, when it came to base XP, again, Oppenheimer, top of the table, 1,203 base experience points. The Otto managed to get 930. And then we've got, uh, is that Kunz? Kunstmann? Kunstmann, who managed to get 753 in the M5355. So congratulations to him. And where's Joe Beasy? He's down here with 5, 588 in that game. So let's have a look at detail. 
Well, we can see Arpenheimer fired 13 shots. He got 13 direct hits and 11 penetrations. He didn't miss a single shot, and um, all but two of them went through. Um, damage of 8,070 hit points uh, damage in that game, 1,126 of which were up more than 300 meters. He received one hit. It was a non-penetration, and so it didn't go through, but he did suffer from that bat chat, as we said. He spotted one enemy vehicle, damaged nine in the enemy, killed three of them, and did damage assistance of 895 hit points. On a premium count, he earned 82,332 credits, got 42,853 for completing the mission events, and he got compensation from the bat chat for 2,024 hit points, uh, credits rather, for that ram he made into the side of uh, Oppenheimer. Uh, so his total came to 127,209, and after repair, ammunition, resupply, and consumables, he took away 96,658 from that game. He got four awards for getting the um, uh, high caliber and the confederate, and he also picked up 1,804 uh, XP, times two for the first victory of the day, 1,625 for completing the mission and events, totally took away was 5,234 experience points altogether. So a particularly good game there by Arpenheimer shows that the gorilla can be very effective. The only problem, of course, is that very, very weak hull. Normally, when you get hold, hold in that hull, it, it can be sort of like devastating because uh, it is only, after all, a Panther chassis. It's not very strong. But uh, that gun is absolutely amazing. And Arpenheimer, with three marks on his barrel, certainly knows how to use it. So if you enjoyed that replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel and hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.